hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel trust you had a beautiful and stress-free week and happy beautiful weekend just have been keeping safe oh, like i do say it's important to keep safe go out with your face masks and sanitizer avoid crowded area so let's go straight to business also anengi busted though as in busted that was all she passed sorry oh sorry you guys missed your first kiss your f children's first kiss again ah like i can feel you guys pain right now i'm so sorry for you people sorry yeah sorry don't cry <laughs> after that um missed kiss that happened in the house i mean when Ozo was evicted that we thought they were gonna kiss your children finally kissed and you guys missed it hey it's painful ah it's pinching me in my body <laughs> like i'm pitying you guys so this is what happened during Ozo's life they played a the game and then they were like if you have kissed this year that he should drop his hand you know Ozo now Ozo will not lie he had to drop his hand that he has kissed who do you think he kissed? Bear in mind, guys, bear this in mind though. Also, as a faithful guy, he will not lie. <laughs> what did you think he kissed? Just whoever you think he kissed, drop it at the comment section. Let's talk about it. Ah, guys, they pay me for you people, but don't worry, the big one is coming. The biggest self, their wedding. Don't worry, the big one is coming. You guys will experience that one. It's that one that is even important. Don't worry, you experience that one, but it's painful. You and then he finally kissed so sweet <laughs> don't worry you guys will see the biggest one soon just keep praying for them so going for the nengi's interview last interview she declares that she was asked to describe a kind of man and you wouldn't believe the sweet and interesting thing i found out guys don't worry you see it in the video let me just quickly do a run-up because i don't want you to miss the beautiful beautiful videos then she now said that once she's done making money, that all she's doing right now is for her kids. He said, once she's done making money, what is next is marriage you. Now marriage you, now what? Don't worry, see it in the video. And then Uncle Zomena was also seen begging fans. Like he was literally begging um, superiors and ninjas to quit the fan wars. That in as much as he loves Nengi, they should be able to respect her. And... Um, just love her for who she is. He was literally begging them to quit the fan words and it's so beautiful. Ozo was just busy telling them how much he loves her, how much he cares about her. Hey, this love is sweet, guys. Ozo, she passed. Congratulations, though. Hey, you guys can pray. Your prayers are actually working. Congratulations. And even with all of that, these coconut head people are still saying that they are single. Well, yes, they are single. No marriage yet. Now, be no wedding yet. Still saying that they are single, but in a great and good place. Hmm. You know they've been doing that since like day before yesterday. You know it was Nengi that actually started that when she was asked of her relationship with Ozo and she said that they are both good in a good place, in a great place. Mm -hmm. Ozo is also saying that to now, he has copied. Now these people can be too coconut head. But thank God for Mr. Amadi. You know Amadi man now. <laughs> our own Kayode. So thank God for him. He came out, went to Nengi's life, our last interview. I made a comment saying the good place hey so guys which other evidence which other proof do you guys need to see that this ship your ship ozone ship has sailed has sailed since has long sailed hmm. guys these people can actually get married eh and what you'll be seeing is then this tummy boom and you'll be like when did they get married i just pray they don't do that to you people because Ah, and then Negina also said it herself that even if she's dating, she's gonna keep it private. That people tend to spoil good things, and I do not blame her. Like I really, really do not blame her. Like things are really going well, and I'm really happy for them. Now let's move on to the last part. Nengi is also meeting great people, planning big things in Ghana. She's meeting big names. She's currently on another deal and i cannot wait for it to be announced so guys just sit back relax and enjoy this video for me oh, i think this ship has sailed day, day. like it has long sailed over do you guys think 
let the conversation continue and the comment session let's again ah ozone shippers i'm sorry you guys missed their first kiss don't worry like i said continue to pray eh so that you see the biggest yes the biggest i'll call it the biggest one on their wedding day continue to pray <laughs> congratulations by the way <laughs> enjoy the video guys What's your kind of man? My kind of man is uh, a man that is not judgmental because I'm not judgmental. I can I take anybody for who they are. Okay. So I love this kind of people. Mm. And people are really quick to judge. People are really quick to judge people. And like, I met this guy and you know, we're from two totally different backgrounds. So, so that was it for me. The fact that I know he would always accept me for whatever it is. Because he knows me, because he knows, he knows me. He knows who I am, so he doesn't judge me based on like mistakes I've made or anything. So if, if I came out from the house, I will never say I hate her fans. That's going to be dumb of me to say, you know. Um, so if I, if I automatically, um, if I automatically like love her, love her, then that means definitely I love her fan base as well. So why the why the wars like spill over is something that I really find it so 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 uncomfortable, you know. Uh, I want my fans to love her as much as uh, as much as I do love her as well, you know. And yeah, I, I definitely want her fans to know that the fact that I love Nengi means that that love spills down to them too. So it's um, yeah, it's it's really. It's really, really painful to see at times. I mean, just because of how I am, most times when I see all these things, I'm just going to be like, okay, let me hey, so let me just let it go. But you can't just uh, take your phones and start saying like horrible, disgusting things about two people that are close. Like you just, you just shouldn't do that, you know. So I mean, at the end of the day, like, well, if if you see that this person loves this person, then why why would you want to why would you want to say horrible things about that person? Like no one should. And uh, hopefully hopefully it stops. Uh, I know I've said that a couple of times through my uh, legal speech and that I like, made similar comments but yeah I just I really hope it stops the 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 fun world especially between my uh, superiors and ninjas that's something I really really hope that stops. I hope the ninja see see the sense in it as well. Uh, that's something that we really, really hope stops for sure. Really trying to grow my brand. I don't want to be a liability to any man. So right now. I feel like I have so much, yeah, I feel like I have so much work to do. And if I want to start seeing a man now, I'm on a marriage, Joe, because what have we waiting for? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I understand that I have to work for my kids and for my I don't think there's a lot of girls who, um, who can boast of that. I mean, that's why I want to, I came out to Big Brother, not just because I want to sell shoes or because I want to be popular. But I want people to see that, okay, if she did it, then I can actually do it. Because it's not easy. Mm -hmm. As much as it, it wasn't easy for me going through school, having to see myself go to school. And not having that emotional support and all of that. But like, I did it and I just feel like that's a lot. That's an accomplishment. That's my greatest accomplishment. So um, when I say blueprint, it's just because I'm different. I'm different. I'm a goal getter. And I set goals and I achieve it. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. And brands. Of course. Okay, so who do we talk to? Because we also have some quite, uh, you know, influential people that we can speak to and bring you on board to do certain programs and all of that. I know, as Jackie said, I'm blessed. And the famous on TV, we we'll just wrap okay. it through and, and then see what we can do. Because there are some great products here in Ghana that we believe that also can make their way into the Nigerian market. Mm -hmm. And you can serve as that bridge, you know, yeah. to just do that. I didn't know whether you came on a private jet or on Africa World. Mm. But I said go on Africa World and become an ambassador for them. The owner is a very good friend of mine. And once you shuttle between Ghana and Nigeria, who better to do that than you, you yeah. know? So we can put a recommendation through. Okay, that would be good Thank to you. have you or know, people like you in the face of that 
and it's, 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 a, it's a proud sub-regional, you know, airline, and we'll be good to actually showcase all of them. Please, how are you, boss? Yeah, You're good? Let's see. Fantastic. Yeah. Good show, as always. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. Let's, let's, let's look at it. I mean, we are offering to opportunities. Let's see what is available. Like I said, some endorsements. You've also been an influencer. Let's keep let's keep the relationship. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Jackie? Boss, so I'm happy for this meeting. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, really? This one business is really dead to my heart. I just want to build it to the point where I know, okay, this brand is going to stand the test of time. People love the brand. It becomes a household name. Wonderful. That's pretty much what I'm working on. So for ladies or gents? Ladies for now. Ladies for now. Yeah. Maybe gents. in the future we can capitalize not, not, on that. Don't throw that future too far. <laughs> Keep it in a distance where we can. Because the, 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 the love coming through is amazing. It is. And this is pure. You can tell that these are people who connect with your personality. Yeah. They don't even have to meet you one-on-one. -on -one. No. Wow, that you're blessed though. I am. Uh -huh. Thank God. Yeah. So so you do a lot of, uh, I, th I see some short skits of you online as well. Yeah, I did a skit. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you're thinking of acting professionally? Or? Definitely. Mm. Definitely. When I get the time, because right now it's like work. I have so many brands I'm signed to. I have my business. So for now, it's it's crazy. Wow. But once I get the chance, definitely. Wow. How do you handle this, man? It must be a lot of work. <laughs> it you don't is. have your me time, I'm sure. No, hardly. Hardly. But um, you get used to it. Mm. You get used to it. That's right. What's the craziest thing a fan has ever done to you? Probably in your DM or a comment you read and were like, whoa, this is mind blowing. Come on. <sighs> Guys, I didn't know I was this huge. <sighs> um, I can't even pick because every day fans do things that blow my mind. So it's That's a lot. Right. It's a lot. I fans got me a Range Rover for my birthday. <laughs> Just got you a Range Rover. Got me a Range Rover. Me too. <laughs> you get there. Yeah, they got me a, a khaki holder. Khaki holder. And they are not even ninjas, they are rangers. <laughs> yeah, they got me a khaki holder. Uh, please, your khaki holder will be at the reception. Come and pick your team back, eh? I don't like I don't like nonsense. It's, it's, it's unbelievable to think you're only 22 years. You achieved so much. And I'm 22. 23 now. Uh, 23 years. Yeah. You've achieved so much already. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh-huh. Are you a very religious person? My God. <laughs> Are you very religious? No, I understand that all my blessings... I mean, it overwhelms me sometimes because okay. the things I've achieved now are things I felt like I would achieve in, what, five years, ten years. Uh, I know it's not me. Couldn't possibly be me. It's definitely God, so yeah. I owe it to him. I love that. I love that.